Dionysus and the Nymphs of Mount Nysa. Welcome back, myth lovers. Today, we follow Dionysus on a heartfelt journey back to the place of his childhood, Mount Nysa. What happens when the god of wine and revelry returns to the nurturing nymphs who raised him? Join us as we explore this bittersweet reunion and the divine mission that beckons Dionysus forward. Will he find solace and support among his cherished friends? Stay tuned to uncover the touching story of Dionysus and the nymphs of Mount Nysa. As Dionysus continued his journey across the land, spreading the joy and ecstasy of wine to mortals far and wide, he found himself drawn to the tranquil slopes of Mount Nysa Euro, the very place where he had spent his childhood under the care of the nurturing nymphs. As he ascended the verdant slopes of the mountain, Dionysus felt a sense of nostalgia wash over him, memories of his carefree days among the nymphs flooding back to him. He remembered the gentle embrace of the forest, the sweet fragrance of the flowers, and the laughter of the nymphs as they danced and played beneath the dappled sunlight. But as Dionysus reached the summit of the mountain, he was met with a sight that filled him with both joy and sorrow a euro. The nymphs, his beloved companions from childhood, gathered before him, their radiant forms bathed in the soft glow of the moonlight. For they had heard of Dionysus's return to Mount Nysa and had come forth to greet him, eager to welcome him back into their midst and bask in the divine presence of their cherished friend. But Dionysus, though overjoyed to see the nymphs once more, could not shake the sense of foreboding that gripped his heart. For he knew that his reunion with the nymphs would be bittersweet, tainted by the knowledge that his destiny lay elsewhere, beyond the tranquil slopes of Mount Nysa. And so, as he stood before the nymphs, Dionysus spoke to them of his journey and the divine mission that had brought him back to their sacred home. He told them of the wonders he had witnessed and the challenges he had faced, and he spoke of the boundless love and gratitude he felt for them, his loyal companions and guardians from childhood. But he also spoke of the trials that lay ahead, of the dangers that threatened to engulf the world and extinguish the flame of divine revelry forever. And he urged the nymphs to remain vigilant, to stand steadfast in their devotion to the divine and to continue to spread the joy and ecstasy of wine to all who would listen. Moved by Dionysus's words, the nymphs pledged themselves to his service, vowing to stand by his side and support him in his divine mission. And as they danced and sang beneath the moonlit sky, their hearts filled with love and reverence for the god in their midst, they knew that their bond with Dionysus was eternal and unbreakable. And so, as Dionysus bid farewell to the nymphs of Mount Nysa and continued on his journey, he carried with him the memories of their time together and the knowledge that, no matter where his path might lead him, he would always have the love and support of his cherished friends. And as he looked out upon the world spread out before him, Dionysus felt a sense of purpose and determination wash over him, his heart filled with the knowledge that he was fulfilling his divine destiny and spreading the light of divine revelry to mortals far and wide. Thank you for joining us on this touching journey with Dionysus and the nymphs of Mount Nysa. If you enjoyed this story, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an episode. Stay tuned for more captivating myths and adventures. Until next time, keep your curiosity alive and continue exploring the wonders of the ancient world. Thank you for watching.